welcome back to another exciting episode of Woofer Class Presentations. I'm your host, Joe Doton, and today I'm going to be going over primary and secondary surveys with you. Looks like we have a patient now! First thing you want to do is determine if your patient is conscious. So as you walk up, talk to your patient. Who are you going to call? The patient did not respond with Ghostbusters. Next thing you need to check is airway and breathing. So for airway, go ahead and check around the nose and mouth. And for breathing, just go ahead and look, uh, listen in for their breath, or you can look at their chest rise and fall. All right, so I'm gonna check his nose. Make sure there's nothing in there. Looking at his nose. All right, so he has his airway. There's nothing obstructing the airway. I'm now gonna look at his body. Let's look for the rise and fall of his chest. He's breathing. Now you need to check to make sure your patient has a pulse. You can check anywhere, just make sure that they have a pulse. I prefer checking the radial. I just find it easier to find. He has a pulse. Next, make sure your patient doesn't have any obvious deformities. So, do a, chunk, do a quick chunk check. So I'm going to go through, just feel his arms, feel around the neck. You want to do one side at a time, just make sure nothing feels kind of weird. Make sure you don't step over your patient. All right, everything's good. Last thing you need to do for your primary survey, make sure your patient is safe from the environment. Now that I've determined that my patient is not in a life-threatening state, and I've safely moved him to a safe environment, with the help of three to five people in maintaining C-spine, of course, I'm now going to move on to my secondary survey. <laughs> The first step in the secondary survey is taking their vital signs. Vital signs include level of consciousness, heart rate, respiratory rate, uh, the pupils, uh, the skin, and blood pressure. In addition to A and O times 1 to 4, uh, the levels of unconsciousness are responsive to verbal, responsive to pain, or completely unresponsive. So I'm going to say, hey, hey, can you hear me? He is unresponsive to verbal. So next I'm going to take his hand, just kind of press on his thumb a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right, so he is responsive to pain. Next, you're going to take the respiratory rate and heart rate using a stopwatch. Then you're going to feel the skin, make sure it's normal. Uh, then you're going to check the eyes to make sure they are equal, round, and reactive to light. All right, good. The next thing you need to do is do a patient exam. The patient exam is like a very thorough chunk check. You just want to go over the entire body, make sure there are no injuries or anything like that. Um, in addition to the very thorough chunk check, you want to make sure that all extremities have a pulse. All extremities. Now that my patient is conscious, I can do the last part of the uh, secondary survey, which is the ample history. <laughs> As you're doing the secondary survey, you want to start on your SOAP note because a lot of that information goes into it. Um, so as I'm asking him about his ample history, I'm going to be writing them down. So do you have any allergies? Benadryl. Benadryl? Okay. Um, are you taking any medication? No. No. All right. Um, do you have a history of falling un unconscious? No. No? Okay. When was the last time you ate? This morning. This morning. Uh, what was the last thing you remember before falling unconscious? I fell off the swing. Fell off the swings. All right. All right. All is well. <laughs>
Now I'm gonna go over primary and secondary surveys with you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, 